Hey, all you manja cakes out there in the YouTube first, Frankie Cappuccino here with Quinn K, and we're here reviewing the best matches of Monster Pro Wrestling 2021. You've already seen two of them, and this is the last one we're going to show this week, the top one, and this match involves the Monster Pro Wrestling heavyweight champion, magnificent Mitch Clark, in his final bout against Wrath. You know, this match was a long time coming. Uh, those of you who've been following, Wrath really took exception to to what he perceived as a lack of respect from Mitch Clark. And this whole, uh, this whole thing started uh, with them meeting up in the lair, continued on to the live shows. And now this is the big finale where they meet up in a lumberjack match. This is a classic. And uh, I, I was lucky enough to be there for this. And you know what? I love this match. And I think you will too. So let's get to the match. And Happy New Year, Manja Cakes. All right. So this match has been a long time coming. Wrath finally going to get... The, the, the finale that he needs with Mitch Clark and being a lumberjack match, Mitch has nowhere to, that he'll be able to run and hide. You know what, Q, you're assuming that Magnificent Mitch Clark wants to run away from this match, but he's ready to show Wrath who the real Monster Pro Wrestling heavyweight champion is and the best that this industry in Monster Pro Wrestling has ever seen. But it's underway. Well, once again... Mitch has got an awful lot to say, but uh, this this could be, you know, he could be swallowing his words after this match. Hey, he's talking to all those manja cakes around the ring, telling them that, hey, this is, he's the champion, he's the one fighting Wrath, and he could take them on and they better not get involved. Okay, well, we start up hot and heavy here. Wrath goes to town right after Mitch. Mitch counters him and turns it around, and they're over in the corner. Mitch... Once again, trying to get out, but this is why this is a lumberjack match. All oh, the lumberjacks are looking like they're going to get into it. Mitch safely goes over to the side of the people that at least show him some respect. And right back in the ring, and there you go, Wrath going after that arm. You know, I was talking with Wrath before the match, and he is fired up. I have never seen this man as fired up as he is he's not only big and strong but man he is determined i i wouldn't want to be mitch clark in this match hey i'm not saying this isn't a mountain to climb for magnificent mitch clark wrath is a monster he's been in mbw for over 10 years and he's dominated the whole time he's been here but this is the monster Pro wrestling heavyweight champion my magnificent Mitch Clark has held this title for over a year. He's found a way to win every single time, and I think he's going to find a way to win tonight. Okay, so Mitch Clark taking control of the match, but Raph turning it around, and a fireman's carry takedown, and goes in right into a quick pin. Well, you know, quite a scientific move there by Raph, kind of showing up Mitch's wrestling skills a little bit. Impressive. And Surprising. You know I mean, I mean, that's the thing with Raph. Like, we, you know, we all know his strength. We all know the power that he has and the big giant of a man that he is. But he Ooh. does have some moves. And look at that. That, that might have been a mistake. Look at that. He is taking those slaps. And Mitch Clark is is like a little flea biting at a, at a big Doberman pincher. He's going to definitely feel this. Ooh. They heard that down to 97th Street Q. Wow, what a chop. And it looks like Roth wants to set him up for one more. Ooh. Oh, magnificent Mitch Clark's chest is starting to turn red uh, just from two chops from the monster Roth. Okay, so Roth taking advantage of the size differential right now. Uh, we've seen Roth do this many times as he just holds his opponent up vertical in the air, letting all the blood rush to his head. Showing off his power, Roth is keeping Mitch up there for a good five, six seconds and just pounds him down onto the mat. Matt Roth is in control. I'm not going to deny it. But there's still a lot of match left here, Q. Okay, well, so far, the Lumberjacks on the outside of the ring haven't factored in yet. Uh, Mitch made his way out the one time, but he was quickly back in. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, Wrath is on the wrong oh, side of town. Oh, my God, look at that. Hey. Danny Evans attacking Wrath outside the ring. 
Hey Q, this is a lumberjack match. There's no rules. And he got himself on the wrong side of town. He should have rolled over on the other side. Go for the pin. Wow, two count. Okay, well, there's some bad blood outside the ring, too. Oh, Hard you know. to know what all can erupt out there. There's other rivalries from all our MPW wrestlers, and <clears throat> sometimes they can't keep their emotions in check, even when it's an important match like this. So once again, Mitch Clark showing the techniques that he uses, using the ropes to his advantage. Hey, it's kept him champ for over t almost two years there, Q. It's kept him champ for almost two years. You can't deny results. And you're absolutely right. I will not deny that Mitch Clark knows how to how to bend the rules just enough to uh, to keep himself in the win. But oh, look at that! Right in the bread basket, a couple of right hands. Oh, what's Wrath setting up here? Could this be over already? Oh, Ooh. two thumbs right in the eye. The, Unbelievable. The most effective move in all of wrestling. The thumb to the eye. Magnificent Mitch Clark. Pulled it off beautifully. You know, he tried to go for a power move against Wrath, which maybe was a bit of a mistake. But who knows? Maybe he was setting him up the whole time to get him with that and get his uh, crew outside to help out. Oh, my goodness. Looks like, yeah, Rich King got in there. Looks like Rich and uh, T.Y. Jackson, they, they could go at it right now. You know, they've had a long-built rivalry. Same with the Sultan and uh, uh, Blake Cannon were getting in there. And the Savages, of course, are around the ring. Look oh. at that. Blake Cannon handing Mitch a chair. Oh, that's respect. That's respect for the champion. Trying to help him out, making sure that he can do in the match. Massive damage trying to get involved there. Mitch Clark having none of that. Ooh, wow. The great equalizer, the steel chair cue. No rules in a lumberjack match. You just got to get tossed back in the ring by the lumberjacks. That's yeah, all. And that's right. No so. disqualifications. So, uh, you know, turnaround's fair play, and we may see Roth take advantage of using that chair himself. Not if he takes this straight to the head. He's trying He's to find it. his way out. Oh, Mitch has him in a good grip. Oh, wow. wow. Very well executed DDT right onto that chair. Head first into the steel cue. Head first to the steel. Uh, the champ's taking a little bit too long to pin him, though. Oh, he's not he's not done punishing Wrath yet. He's not done well, the disrespect. Oh. This, to me, is foolish. This is just plain foolish. If you've got the chance to put a guy like Wrath away, you better take advantage of it. Oh, the champ is a showman. But you know what, Q? For once, I'm going to agree with you. Wrath is too big, too strong, and too determined to be able to play those games with. It's all a mind game, but with Wrath, I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, uh, it's it's hard to believe that that Wrath's going to succumb to too many mind games. And another incredible wow. chop. That almost took off his whole upper body. So there's Mitch Clark on the outside. And once again, we see... Being protected by those wrestlers that respect him and then those other manja cakes that would just want to get involved and in trying to get their hands on Mitch Clark because they're jealous of his championship reign. They're jealous of how great he is. Uh, that's all I could say, you. It's all jealousy from those manja cakes, for sure. Well, they're trying to get him back into the ring, and back in the ring he is. What's he going to set up here? Oh, European uppercut. A classic Mitch Clark move. Oh, nice turnaround by the big man. A leapfrog by Mitch. Oh! Neckbreaker. He hit the neckbreaker. It's not his finisher, but he hit a neckbreaker on softening up Wrath for that big finisher for sure. Thunder from Jalunder on the side, trying to get Wrath fired up. Oh, close to three there. Close to three. He did push out hard, but it was a close to a three count. That's a lot closer than I would have liked it to have been. There's no doubt that the that the fans and the, a lot of the wrestlers around the ring are firmly in Wrath's corner. Well, I beg to differ, Q. Listen to that Mitch crowd chant. Sure, it's only from the guys around the ring, but it's louder than the crowd. Okay, well, we will see. So, oh, he's Mitch, got Mitch up. he's got Wrath up. Mitch is is definitely firmly in control. Wrath is reeling right now up against the ropes. Once again, Mitch Clark utilizing the ropes to his favor. 
He's Nothing the ref can do. He's softening Wrath up for that neck breaker. You know, he's been attacking his head and neck the, this whole time and just taking him out right at that body part until he can hit that neck breaker for the win, as he's done so many times before. And going for the choke. We've seen, we've seen Mitch use these tactics before, doing everything he can to weaken his opponent. And in the case of Wrath, he really has a long, uh, long hill to climb to weaken Wrath. But that kick out is getting weaker and weaker, Q. That kick out is getting closer to three every time. So he's just wearing down the big man Wrath, keeping him on the mat. That's what you got to do with the big men. You got to get them down to your level. You cancel out their height and strength when they're lying on their back. Oh, stomp right on his hand. You can hear it from the fans. They don't like all of these cheap tactics from Mitch. Oh, it looks like something new here from Mitch. Give some Mitch Clark showing a little bit of agility here. We've seen this move from Phoenix a few times. Of course, oh. albeit she's executed it a lot quicker. Hey, he's trying something new, Q. Oh. oh! But look at that! Oh, unbelievable! He hit it. He hit the Hurricane off the top row on the big man, Matt Wrath. Oh. Wow. But it that, seemed to just wake him up. Wrath's own momentum took out Mitch Clark. Almost took his head off. That had to be pure instinct on the part of Wrath. You can see the thunder from Jalunder and uh, Phoenix on the ringside doing their best to get Wrath pumped up. Looks like Mitch's friends are kind of down right now. No one's kind of helping him out. They're both on the mat. The ref's doing the 10 count. I, I think both both Rich and Blake Cannon, they both look stunned and cannot believe that Wrath executed such a powerful clothesline after the beating that he has taken up to this point in the match. You know, even Wrath's ex-crew, the Savages, are standing in the corner there, and they're watching all this, and they're hoping Wrath gets his come up. It's for the for leaving them now you know this cannot be a good uh, good plan on the on the part of mitch clark trying to go toe to toe blow for blow against wrath this is what you end up with look at those clotheslines looks like he just woke him up wrath is on a rampage he's coming back he's got mitch in his hands oh, oh. right to the throat great throat punch by another one. Oh, i told you going after that neck of wrath and taking out his breathing bit by bit and a German Ooh. suplex by Wrath. Wow, that was the, he hit him right on the right on the back of the head. He's still holding on to him. Backbreaker. Wow. wow. And keeps him on his knee. He still got him, Q. Unbelievable. Into a side suplex. Wow, what a combination by Wrath. He's fired up. Okay, He's this could up. be it. If he can execute a big finish move here, I don't think Mitch Clark will will be able to come out of it. You know, he's taking a long time pandering to all these manja cakes and waiting, and this has given Mitch Clark a chance to recuperate. Let's see what happens. Well, I don't know. Mitch Mitch looks like he could be unconscious right now. And he's calling for the power bomb. And here we go. He's setting it up again. We saw him try it earlier, but Mitch got out of it with a thumb to the eye. Oh, this time it's punches. And he managed to put him down. He didn't put him down very hard. Oh, oh, low blow. That's the second most effective move in wrestling when it's allowed to be done. And once again, Wrath on the wrong side of town. You can see massive damage in there taking on Blake Cannon. Phoenix in there going after Angelica. What? Where is Mitch going? And chaos outside the ring there, Q. The good guys, the bad guys, everybody's going. Oh, here comes Commissioner Nino. Okay. Well, looks like they're getting the match going. The, ma the referee was going to throw the match out because there was too much interference from the back. Oh, oh, Mitch hit it. There's the neck. It's breaker. over. If he can pin him, it's over. This is how Mitch has taken out everybody he's ever beaten. Taking a lot of time Once here. Once again, he's waiting. I don't know. What's going on? What's in the champ's mind? Feeling a little overconfident, I think. I think so. This is this is crazy on the part of Mitch. This arrogance really could be the thing that finally costs him his title. Oh. 
There you go, kick out by Rath. We took way too much time, way too lax of a pin for the champ. That's a strange thing for him to do. Steps on for good measure. Looking and to fight with the ref now. Getting in the face of the ref. You know, this is what I don't like. That referee is not a wrestler. He is there to, uh, and, and the disrespect that I've seen from Mitch over and over again. Oh! No DQ, Q. No DQ. I know. Well, that's and he's got him with the belt. Turn around is fair play, so you may see Roth grab the belt and do the same to Mitch. If he can get up, it looks like he hit him square in the head with that. Mitch a little bit pandering, you know, showing these manja cakes who the champ really is. Might be a mistake, though. You never know what's going to happen with Roth. Well, you know what? Doesn't really matter. You know, they used to say every dog has his day, every Napoleon has his Waterloo, and the day will come for Mitch Clark. Even if it isn't this match today against Wrath, it will come. Oh, Mitch Clark showing Wrath to somebody. You know, and this showing is... these fans. This attempt to humiliate is is to me this is embarrassing to the to the to the noble profession of professional wrestling uh, you know and mitch clark thought he had knocked him out with that belt shot but it looks like wrath still has a little bit there and look at this putting his hands on the referee what oh, is no. he doing now oh no this is Ooh. unbelievable how can wow. you, how can anyone justify doing that to a referee mitch clark mitch clark is definitely frustrated you know, he thought he had the match won with that belt shot and felt that uh, ref Peter it was a slow count, so. Well, now what? Now what? Now there's no referee in the ring. This is unbelievable. Hopefully, ref Peter can recover. Now, Wrath gets out. beat up, Q. That's what happens. Wrath gets punished because Mitch Clark wants to show everyone that he's the best. Exactly. You see? And he wants to punish Wrath, not just beat him because Wrath has been a thorn in his side for too long. And it's time for him to show him who the Monster Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champ is. But you still need a ref to count the pin. You still, if you want to win and have this finished, uh, unbelievable that Mitch Clark would do that to a referee. A referee is not trained as a wrestler, does not deserve to have that. Commissioner Sicilian Assassin is there. You know, I'm sure he's trying to scramble for another ref in the back. But in the meantime, Mitch Clark is going to take it to Wrath and just try to destroy him to show him who the real champ is here in Monster Pro Wrestling. Okay, well, looks like Mitch is rope. setting something up here. This is going to be big, Q. Wrath, it's hard to believe that Wrath's even conscious. It looks like uh, he hit that Huracurana before, and now it looks like Magnificent Mitch Clark is going for another Huracurana off the top. Like a f old school Frankenstein. Oh my Let's god. Let's see what happens here, Q. If he hits this. Look at this. Wrath held him. Wow. Holy smokes, what's happening here? Unbelievable. The ring bounced off the ground. I've never wow. seen that before. Incredible impact. Top rope power bomb by Wrath on the champ Mitch. If we can get a ref out here, I think it's going to be hard for Mitch to kick out. I can't believe that Mitch didn't end up going right through the ring. We got a one. Here's oh. a ref. And there you have it. New champion, Raf. Wow. I can't believe this just happened. Magnificent J Mitch Clark is no longer the Monster Pro Wrestling Champion and has been beaten by Raf. You can see Blake Cannon is stunned, Rich King is stunned, Angelica's stunned. Massive damage is in the ring. And there you have massive damage in there congratulating his former tag team partner. Here comes the Sultan and, uh, and there's the thunder from Jalunder. Savage is pulling out Mitch Clark. They're all stunned too. They can't believe that this happened. Wow, we have a new Monster Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, and it's the man known as Wrath.